Dr. Paul here. Got a four month old who's had a lot of intermittent cough, sometimes severe. Hello. Hi. What you chewing on? Are you teething? Yes. You've been coughing for a while, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. It's about 10 days. 10 days. You were here about a week ago. Yeah, Friday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was at that point, it was sort of sounding croupy. Yeah. A little bit of a hoarse cough. Yep. And since that time, What's sort of been the sequence of events? Um, just about much more congestion with the cough, so mm -hmm. a lot trying to cough up things I noticed, yeah. like really getting um, gagging a lot and not able to um, get it out so that he can take a breath. <laughs> cough, 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 and then gasping for air. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That doesn't sound like any fun. No, it doesn't. Okay. Lungs are clear, so that's good. I already know that we've checked the oxygen. It was 99%, which is perfect. Okay. The thing about croup, and some of our viewers who've seen some of the other croup videos, mm -hmm. Uh, croup is worse at night, mm -hmm. and it's a hoarse voice when they breathe in. Okay. And this is sort of congestion in yeah. and out, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's all the time. And yes. it's so this is while well, it might have started looking like a croup, mm -hmm. it's now looking like something different. Yeah. It's definitely possible this could be pertussis. We've already done the nasal swab. In fact, you're you, you've got it on camera. Mm -hmm. So what you see there is a, when you get a pertussis swab, you're going in and getting some secretions and getting some cells. So it's kind of an annoying little test. Yes, it is. So we'll have that result fairly quick. We'll get okay. it in 24 to 48 hours. So we did a CBC. There we go. There we go. We get it up the capillary tube with no air bubbles. There we go. We got it. Hmm. We have our CBC results. Uh, very high white count. What we look at is the total white blood cell count, and you'll notice it's very high, 33,000. Okay. Normal is four to about 15, and we're oh, at 33,000. Okay. okay. That's really high. Okay. If the types of white blood cells were mostly granulocytes, mm -hmm. I would say that's a certain type of bacterial infection for this age of a kid, but it's mostly lymphocytes. Given the cough, given that super high white count and a high lymphocyte, it's almost certainly pertussis. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and start treating. Okay. Azithromycin, it's uh, quite effective. Okay. The cough's gonna be there a while though. Okay. And the key with kids this young is, you know, that they get into those spells. Mm -hmm. You, you want to like keep them from getting really mad and upset because mm -hmm. that seems to trigger it. Yeah. And just get them back to calming down and breathing, okay. right? Okay. I mean, you've probably seen him turn blue even. A little bit almost. Close, yeah. Close, yeah. Red at least. <laughs> uh -huh. So, you know, if that happens, you know, if it's a few seconds, even a minute, you're okay. But if, okay. if it's like ongoing and not stopping, I mean, that's 911. Okay. We okay. need oxygen. Yeah. Right? Okay. Oxygenation is fine. So the problem right now is all the secretions. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it is. So you got a great smile. Oh my gosh, that's a golden one. Too bad the camera's on the wrong side. <laughs> we can, we're looking at the old doctor instead of the, the cute baby. You go give me one more smile. You go give me one more smile. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do azithromycin. We're gonna follow up real closely and we'll let you know for sure if it's positive, but we're gonna treat as if anyway. I mean, everything else is classic. The, okay. the symptoms, the blood work, and it's just a matter of confirming it. So there's a lot of fear about pertussis. Most people get over pertussis just fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's most worrisome in the youngest. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're gonna go ahead and obviously treat and watch closely. Yeah. Come back if you're worried at all. Okay. You know, the, we can check oxygen here or in the emergency rooms. Okay. And um, 
you know, as far as for our viewers and people get all afraid about deaths from pertussis, mm -hmm. it's like five a year in the United States out of four million people. Okay. They're generally three months and under. Okay. Or four months. Yeah, almost Yay. five. <laughs> almost five months. <laughs> Yay. So you're probably five. Yeah, there's that there's smile. There's Look there's at that smile. There's Yay. There's it's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's too silly. <laughs> Tuesday they went to talk to. Uh, anyway, but for our viewers, I mean, this is, Pertussis is one of those things you've got to be cognizant of and aware of, and, and um, it's, yeah, it's worth that discussion. In my book, The Vaccine Friendly Plan, where I have a alternative schedule to the CDC schedule, this is one that you might consider. You know, there's pros and cons, obviously, and risks and benefits to weigh out, but uh, that's why we think about it, at least. Big thumbs up for this family letting us actually show you what a pertussis cough can look like in an infant. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul. <laughs> oh, bye-bye. <laughs> there it is.